Hello everyone, Wet Jamaica here. Welcome to this updated video on the weather across Jamaica and the rest of the Caribbean. It is Saturday evening, December 23, 2023. Now before you jump into it, please ensure that you guys like the video, share it, subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a brand new video. Feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section letting me know what the weather has been like in your year recently. Also, feel free to ask any weather related question that you might have about the future of the weather in your specific area. Alright, so let us take a look at the surface map of the Atlantic for this evening. We can still see that the Atlantic Basin is being dominated by ridges of high pressure that are sending all of those easterly trade winds across the main development region into the Caribbean. And some of these easterly trade winds are bringing with them some amount of Saharan dust, which we'll be taking a closer look at later on. We can also see a cold front that's stretching all the way from northern sections of the North Atlantic all the way down into portions of the Leeward Islands. And we can also see another trough right there to the south of that cold front affecting portions of the Eastern Caribbean. If we take a look at the visible satellite images of the Atlantic before the sun went down, we can see the low level clouds pushing from east to west across the main development region into the Caribbean. We can also see the clouds associated with that cold front stretching all the way from northern sections of North Atlantic all the way down into portions of the Leeward Islands including Puerto Rico and we can also see the clouds associated with that trough now affecting portions of the Eastern Caribbean including Guadeloupe and Dominica. We'll be talking more about the weather across the Caribbean later on. Let us focus our attention on the prediction that was made in yesterday's video about the weather across Jamaica for today, Saturday, December 23, 2023. It was stated that we would have some amount of morning rainfall across sections of some northern parishes in Jamaica, and then some of this will have, would have affected sections of southern Jamaica during the afternoon. And just for your information, when we're talking about northern parishes, we're talking about Hanover, St. James, Trelawney, St. Anne, St. Mary, Portland, and southern parishes, St. Thomas, Kingston, and St. Andrew, St. Catherine, Clarendon, Manchester, St. Elizabeth, and Westmoreland. And what ended up happening? A post was made on our Twitter page. Keep in mind that these posts aren't only made on our Twitter page, but our Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok page. So if you have one of those social media platforms, please ensure that you follow us there as we make some other mini posts that you can't afford to miss that we don't make here on our YouTube page. So you can see that at 7 a.m., the Cuban Doppler radar images were posted, showing some amount of light, moderate, or heavy rainfall affecting sections of some northern parishes in Jamaica, as we can see by those greens and the yellows that represent light to moderate and even heavy rainfall. So we definitely had some amount of rainfall across sections of Portland, St. Mary, St. Anne, got to know some of that rainfall. And then, even three hours later, the same Cuban Doppler radar images were showing a lot of rainfall across sections of St. Mary at the time, then later on, spilling into sections of Portland. And there was even the concern of some amount of flash flooding taking place, not to mention some amount of land slides. And even at 2.41 p.m., we still had more of the same clouds bringing overcast skies, more so to sections of northern Jamaica. Isolated showers to sections of some southern parishes. So definitely sections of St. Andrew, St. Catherine, Clarendon, Manchester, St. Elizabeth, and Westmoreland got in on some of that afternoon rainfall just as predicted. And we even have confirmation from some of her followers confirming the rainfall. Jerome Johnson stating Kingston 9 area where I am is overcast, dark, and it should rain without any notice. It's cool though with the weather nevertheless. Jody and Anderson raining cats and dogs. And then Chirpy stating, missed your reporting over the last few days, but did you forecast the flooding in Portland? The forecast for the flooding wasn't made, but the rainfall for northern Jamaica was made and we saw that it stalled out and it definitely brought flooding as we can see on the Jamaica Gleaners Twitter page stating two consecutive days of rainfall have wreaked havoc in sections of eastern Portland leaving residents to contend with damaged roads, flooded homes and devastated farmlands days before Christmas. 
and we saw the images posted showing heavy rainfall leaving residents stranded roads blocked off lots of silt debris land slippages taking place and we know portland is used to this they're the traditionally the wettest parish on the island but we can see that in recent years it has been a lot more confined to western jamaica more than anything else but hopefully the damage is not that drastic and they get some amount of relief very soon we can also see that on our facebook page we had some amount of confirmation from our followers about the weather across their area shawnee reynolds overcast saint andrew Nelly Nemoy Temoy stating Portland Awashwe, Beverly Evans. Yes, St. Andrew's Overcast even get a little drizzle. Then Amanda Blake Overcast here in St. Mary and little rain now and then. If we take a look at the visible satellite images of Jamaica before the sun went down, we can see the clouds associated with what we mentioned earlier. Lots of these clouds bring overcast skies and rainfall in sections of Portland, St. Andrew, Lawney, St. James, sections of Clarendon, Manchester, St. Elizabeth, and Westmoreland got in on some amount of overcast skies and isolated showers before the sun went down. And even if we take a look at the infrared satellite images, we can see that it's not only low level overcast, um, low level clouds. But we do have a lot of high level clothes, a lot of cumulonimbus clothes, as we can see by those high cold cloud tops. We even had some amount of sparkling white dots in there across sections of St. Mary and Portland earlier today. Most of the convection now off to the south and west of the island. Either way, the Cuban Doppler radar images as of recent, the latest Doppler radar images are at 6.50 p.m. We can see that we still have some amount of rainfall right there off to the southwest of Jamaica, some rainfall right there off to the southeast of Jamaica as well. If we take a look at the temperatures right now, we can see about 26 degrees Celsius in both Montego Bay and Kingston. And by about 3 a.m. on Sunday, the temperature should dip down to about 24 degrees Celsius in Montego Bay, 23 degrees Celsius in Kingston. Taking a look at the temperature forecast for tomorrow, this map from the GFS is showing 18Z on Sunday. When we calculate that, that's 1 p.m. on Sunday. And we do see that Jamaica is embedded in more greys than anything else. And we can see that by the key on the right, the greys are representative of average or normal temperatures. So it's not below average as represented by the blues, and it's not above average as represented by the yellows or oranges. And we know the average temperatures for the month of December across Jamaica are about the same as 87 degrees Fahrenheit. When we take a look at the thermometer, 87 degrees Fahrenheit is about the same as 30 degrees Celsius. So 30 degrees Celsius is what we're going to be experiencing across the island on Sunday. Taking a look at the dry air map, we can see that we still have a lot of dry air plaguing the area. More blue than anything else that represents how much of moist air. However, as it relates to the siren dust forecast for 2 p.m. on Sunday, we do see that we have a lot of browns across portions of the main development region and eastern Caribbean, even spilling into sections of the ABC Islands, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, French Guyana, Trinidad and Tobago, Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Barbados, sections of St. Lucia, Martinique, Dominica, and Guadeloupe. This is valid for 2 p.m. on Sunday. We don't see much happening across the Jamaica area for that time at all. Taking a look at the wave forecast for Sunday, we still see the blues surrounding the island and we can see by the key on the bottom right that these blues are representative of 1 to 1.5 meter wave heights. And that's because the winds are going to be coming in from the east, averaging anywhere from 10 to 20 knots as we can see by the blues and the greens that represent the wind speed. We can also see that the air is going to be piling up across sections of some southern parishes where we have those darker shades of blues. That's where we're going to be having those cumulus clouds, you know, formulating and bringing some amount of isolated showers when they get heavy enough. Who knows, some of that might even trigger some afternoon thunderstorms. Either way, 
it's gonna be less rainfall than what we've been getting for the past two days that's in the forecast we can see the euro and the gfs malls right here showing 10 a.m on sunday and we do see some pockets of blues that represent rainfall across sections of some northern parishes saint anne saint mary portland and we see that both the euro and the gfs malls are in consensus with this however by afternoon by 3 p.m that is we're starting to see more of those blues make their way into sections of some southern parishes. So maybe sections of St. Thomas, Kingston, St. Andrew, St. Catherine, Clarendon, Manchester, St. Elizabeth, and Westmoreland again. And we do have confidence in this forecast because both of the models are showing the same thing. And it makes sense that the accumulated precipitation forecast from both the Euro and the GFS are showing rainfall across sections of the island for tomorrow. The GFS is a bit less robust than the euro only showing up to 0 0.36 of an inch of rainfall across central jamaica the euro showing up to 0 0.5 of an inch of rainfall either way both of these maps are showing all the rainfall that's expected within the next 24 hours we're gonna be receiving rainfall it's just a matter of where and we are even more confident in the forecast because both of the models are in agreement with this taking a look at the bar graph right here showing the average rainfall for jamaica we know that we're in the month of december now we're wrapping it up about to head into the month of january soon we're heading deeper into the dry season we know the driest month of the year is february hopefully all of this rainfall that we're receiving at this time actually does something for us and you know doesn't make whatever drought that's coming that all too drastic. Uh, so that's it for the forecast across Jamaica. Let us focus our attention on the rest of the Caribbean. So we can see some amount of clouds bring overcast skies and isolated thunderstorms. So sections of French Guyana, Suriname, Guyana, sections of southern Venezuela, Colombia, sections of Nicaragua, Honduras, Guatemala, Belize, sections of the Cayman Islands, Jamaica. We can also see some rainfall across sections of Guadeloupe, sections of the Bahamas, not to mention sections of the Turks and Caicos. And if we take a look at the Doppler radar images of the northeastern Caribbean, we can see that we don't have much happening right now at all. Just some isolated pockets of rainfall across sections of central Puerto Rico. And we see that majority of the weather is off to the east of Antigua and Barbuda. If we take a look at the Barbados radar, we do see some isolated pockets of heat or miss rainfall, especially passing to the north of the island of Barbados as we speak. We can see some rainfall right there heading into sections of St. Vincent, some rainfall as well heading into sections of eastern Tobago, and maybe a section of Trinidad that might get in on some amount of rainfall later on tonight into tomorrow. As related to the wider view of Doppler radar images, we can see some amount of rainfall right now heading into sections of Nicaragua, heading into sections of Belize. And we can also see that rainfall that we mentioned earlier across sections of French Guyana, Suriname, and Guyana. As relates to the temperature forecast for tomorrow, as you can see by the blues, the below average temperatures should be across majority of the Greater Antilles. So Haiti, Dominican Republic, sections of Cuba, the Turks and Caicos, the Bahamas, Florida. While the average to above average temperatures are stretching all the way from the United States into the Gulf of Mexico, Central America, South America as usual, and majority of the Eastern Caribbean. As relates to the siren dust forecast for 2 p.m. on Sunday, we see that we have a lot of browns that represent the siren dust, stretching all the way from Guadeloupe southward, Dominica, Martinique, St. Lucia, sections of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, ABC Islands, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, and French Guyana. And we're definitely going to be experiencing some amount of hazy skies, who knows, maybe some asthma or respiratory illnesses, sinusitis being triggered in some so. Try your best to stay safe. As to the wave forecast, we do see that we still have much of the same. More blues across the majority of the Caribbean that represent 1 to 1.5 meter wave fights. And that's because the winds are going to be coming in from the east, averaging anywhere from 10 to 20 knots at most. As to the rainfall forecast, this is why we're here. This is the meat of the matter. 
The rainfall is represented by these colors right here, as we can see by the key on the right, the greens, yellows, oranges, red. And we do see, we might have some amount of isolated showers in store for sections of the Caribbean island from now up until 10 p.m. on Sunday. Not saying that it's going to be raining all the way up until then, but within this 24-hour time period, these are the areas that are going to be receiving some amount of rainfall. So definitely, sections of southern Florida, maybe some isolated showers, sections of the Bahamas as well, eastern Cuba, sections of Puerto Rico, sections of Haiti, sections of Guadeloupe, Dominica, Martinique, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, maybe even sections of Barbados, even southward across sections of Guyana, Suriname, French Guyana, definite sections of the ABC Islands, coastal areas of Venezuela, Colombia, Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, Belize, sections of the Cayman Islands as well. And we know that when both maps from the EU and the GFS are showing something similar like this, the chances of it actually happening are much higher. Alright, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching.